So welcome students. So in this question you are asked to find the sum of integer part of 1 by 4, integer part of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 50, integer part of 1 by 4 plus 2 by 50, integer part of 1 by 4 plus 3 by 50 so on. So first you, don't, you need to understand what integer part is. So integer part of x denotes the greatest integer, greatest integer less than or equal to x that is the definition of integer part of x that is if you take the number line 0 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 so on so if you want integer part of any number that is if you want integer part of 0 0.3 so you just need to take 0 0.3 on the real number line so 0 0.3 lies somewhere here so you consider all the integers less than or equal to this number so you have a lot of integers which are less than or equal to this so out of all those integers what is the greatest integer that is 0 so the integer part of 0 0.3 is 0 the integer part of 0 0.4 is also 0 so for all the numbers lying between 0 and 1 the integer part is 0 but exactly when x is equal to 1 so if you take integer part of 1 so integer part of 1 will be equal to 1 because you have to consider all the integers less than or equal to x so you can go till this number so if x is equal to 1 so all the integers less than or equal to 1 are 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 so on so what is the greatest of all of them 1 will be the answer so so if you have if you have this understanding of greatest integer function so you are asked to find the greatest the sum of all this greatest integers so you can see that the first term has integer part of 1 by 4 1 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.25 so you know that 0 0.25's integer part is 0 and 1 by 4 plus 1 by 50 you have slightly more than 0.25 1 by 50 is uh, 0 0.02 so this will be 0 0.27 0 0.27 is also less than 1 and this is also equal to 0 0 0.29 this is also equal to 0 integer part of 0 0.29 is also equal to 0 integer part of 0 0.31 is also equal to 0 but this number is slowly increasing by 0 0.02 0 0.02 let us go to the last number 1 by 4 plus 40 by 50 that is 0 0.25 plus 80 by 100 is 0 0.80 so can you see that it is 1.05 so the number has slowly increased and crossed 1 at some point so this is 1.05 this has crossed 1 at some point so the last integer part will be equal to 1 so all the integer parts are not equal to 0 so there are some of these brackets which are equal to 1 also so let us try to analyze in one way the first way to analyze is let us go from last so we know that the number inside this integer part is increasing by 0 0.02 units so 1 by 50 again increased by 1 by 50 again increased by 1 by 50 again so you're starting with 0.25 and slowly increasing the number by 0 0.02 so if you go on doing this integer part of 0 0.25 plus integer part of 0 0.27 plus integer part of 0 0.29 plus integer part of 0 0.31 plus so on and at last you have integer part of 1.05 now instead of going from the front direction because most of them are zeros so let us come from the back side so 1.05 before this what do you have you have 1.03 just need to subtract 1.02 and before this you have 1.01 .01, and before this you have 0 0.99 so just go on reducing by 0 0.02 plus 0 0.97 so on so as you can see the last integer part is equal to 1 this also is equal to 1 this also is equal to 1 but 0.99's integer part is 0 this is also equal to 0 so on all the numbers for all the numbers less than 1 the integer part will be equal to 0 so all these integer parts will be equal to 0 so only 3 ones are left so the sum is equal to so this is one way in which you can analyze this question so the answer to this question is 3 otherwise you can also analyze it like this so when will 
this number tend to become more than 1. So, you have 1 by 4. 1 by 4 plus how many times 1 by 50? 1 by 4, you are adding 1 by 50, 2 by 50, 3 by 50, so on. So, how many 1 by 50 should be added such that this number is greater than 1? So, this implies x by 50 is greater than 3 by 4. This implies x is greater than 150 by 4. That is, x is greater than 75 by 2. This implies x is greater than 37.5. So, if I have to add x 1 by 50s and make this number greater than 1, my x has to be greater than 37.5. That is, x has to start from 38. So, when x is equal to 38, that is, if I add 38 1 by 50s, then the number will cross 1 for the first time. So, as you can see, the number of 1 by 50s added has gone up to 40. So, what are the terms where the number will be greater than 1? The number will be greater than 1 for 38 by 50, 39 by 50 and 40 by 50. So, there are only 3 numbers which are greater than 1 inside the integer part. So, those, of, those values will be equal to 1 and all the other values will be equal to 0. So, the answer is 3. Thank you.